Hello and welcome to Rodeo Strive to Hollywood News. I'm your host, Rodeo Marie Hansen. Today, we're at the Santander Arena in Reading, PA. My guest today is Browning, James, Meryl Davis, and Charlie White. And welcome to Rodeo Strive to Hollywood News. I'm your host, Rodeo Marie Hansen. Today, we're at the Santander Arena in Reading, PA for Stars on Ice. My guest today is a world champion athlete who has represented Canada in three Winter Olympics. A recipient of the Lou Marsh Trophy and Order of Canada. Listed in the Guinness Book of Records, for landing the first ever quadruple jump in competition. Member of both Canada's Sports Hall of Fame and Figure Skating Hall of Fame. Co-host and judge of CBC reality series Battle of the Blades. Skater extraordinaire Kurt Browning. I'm exhausted from that <laughs> intro. Well, thank you, Rodale. My very special guest today are national treasures. America's most decorated ice dancers of all time. They were the first American ice dancers to win both the world title and the Olympic ice dancing gold medal. They are the longest running ice dancing partnership in the U.S. figure skating and are a powerful duo both in sports and educational organizations. Meryl Davis and Charlie White, the elements in your performance. In your opinion, uh, well, you can't jump anymore, so. <laughs> what does a professional figure skater need to make a connection with an audience? Uh, you trust. That's what it is. something that I've sort of discovered over time is that, um, you know, before your music starts, that you, you look up into the audience and you say to yourself, hardly anybody is here that doesn't want to be here. People chose to be here. They got in their cars, they bought a ticket, they took time from their lives to be here tonight. So they want to be here. So trust them. And, um, and that makes it easier to perform for them. Instead of feeling pressure, you actually, I think, feel almost assistance, like guidance. Um, the two of you have the most successful partnership in ice dancing, training up in 1997. Can you share with us how you first met, and what is the secret to staying together for over 20 years? Yeah, we, um, we just happened to be skating at the same club in Detroit, the Detroit Skating Club. And um, I was had started doing ice dance for a little while, and my coach just thought we might be a good match. And I was eight, and she was nine, so we really didn't know much about anything, <laughs> let, let alone figure skating. And um, so we just tried out, and they told us we were good. We had no idea what that even meant, and we just kind of kept going. Um, I would say like maybe eight to ten months later, we medaled at the lowest national level. Um, so I think it was it was fun for us to just like to jump into something and be successful so quickly and I think that that sort of ignited our, our um, passion and I think that's a big part of why we um, have maintained our, our partnership. We we're both really passionate about the sport, the sport of ice dancing and um, you know I think we're just a good match. It, it's, it's, it's hard to find the right personality you know for any person to spend a ton of time with anyone um, but you know specifically with the stress that comes with high level Olympic competition. So we really lucked out. I mean, that's a big part of it is, you know, we both have great parents who taught us um, you know, sort of the necessity for respect and close partnership. And, and we practiced that ever since we were eight and nine, and it took us all the way through the gold medal. Among your accomplishments is the Olympic gold medal for ice dancing. Can you do something about training for the Olympics that many people may not realize and were you aware during performing that you would be the that night? Great question. Um, you know, I think it's no, you said reveal something, and I think it's no secret that hard work is at the key of not just, you know, the success of any athlete or Olympian, but just anything in life. It, it really comes down to hard work. Um, but I think one of the things that Charlie and I really always focused on was bringing it 100% every single day in practice. Um, we knew that if we skated our best, that um, there's a high chance. I mean, it's, it's a judge sport sometimes, maybe it feels better than it looks. 
and you know there can be some question marks at the end of the day. But um, we we won every competition for two years straight leading up to the Olympics, and and I think because of that, we had a lot of confidence that if we went out and, and just did what we knew we were capable of, we would we would probably win. And um, and we and we did that. We did that, and, and I think that's that's what makes the Olympics so um, ridiculous is that you know you, you, for two years we sort of knew and, and so just the expectation and pressure of, um, of seeing that moment coming from a mile away and it's closer and closer and closer but ma making it happen is um, it's, it's a lifelong process and I think that's one of the things that we're so grateful for having started so young um, but yeah we we knew when we finished our program like, we'd probably know. As successful professional athletes who hold the title of most decorated U.S. ice dancers of all time, what advice do you have for a young person who dreams of pursuing a career in sports? Um, a great and, and I think complicated question. I think that when it comes to sort of reflecting on our competitive career together in sport, um, a lot of challenges, of course, you know, not every day is fun in the traditional sense, and yet we always loved, you know, what we were doing. We, you have brought a new level of popularity to figure skating in Canada. This along with your achievements in sport, <laughs> you have earned a nickname, Wayne Gretzky, of figure skating. Yeah. Why is figure <laughs> skating connected to so many people, including those who have never been on the ice? Well, one of the things about Canada is we're very proud of our ice sports. It's, it's um, we're a winter country basically, and so hockey, especially, we're very proud of that. Our skiers and also our figure skaters. So, to be um, a member of Canada's elite skating, it's it's an honor in Canada, and Canada has treated us very, very well. Uh, the Wayne Gretzky of figure skating, of course, Wayne Gretzky being maybe the greatest hockey player of all time. Um, I mean, it makes me laugh. Uh, but I think that a long time ago, when I was much younger, and I'm, I have lucky to have such longevity in the sport, but I was also in a point in our sport where it was really big. And so it, it was fun to be a star in figure skating back in the 90s, um, because, man, we were a big sport back then. And uh, we all had a lot of fun literally being stars on ice. Due to my very special guest, Kurt Browning, for visiting the drive through Until next time, that's a wrap. Thank you to my very special guests, Meryl Davis and Charlie White, for visiting the drive through Until next time, that's a wrap. We want to thank you for doing what you do.